Stud Deck Aquatics here. My 300 gallon saltwater system started to leak and my son and his wife are here and he's helping me. And where it was leaking at is I have two wet dry filters and this is the mechanical portion here where the water drops in, goes through your floss. These holes down here were somewhat plugged and I went ahead and drilled them out and I drilled them the next size bigger. That way the water doesn't collect inside this thing and it goes on through and that's where it was leaking at. So by taking those off, it's a little bit of a pain because you have that big valve up here or that 90 degree elbow. But anyway, they are drilled out, they're cleaned up and we'll put them back. But while we have it there, it's been running since about 2011 and the pumps are slowing down and this is why. When you take this pump apart, these things move 750 gallons an hour and this is a blue line aqua pump and it's a blue line 40 is what it is. And they're excellent pumps. I'm moving about 1500 gallon an hour through it. But here is your large magnet that goes inside and see all the gunk on it. That's why the pump is slowed down. So you need to take that out, clean it up with a brush, clean it up in here, make sure and clean everything up on this end, put it back together. I will also take loose this other side because this is where the air comes through and there should be a little piece of floss or something in there to keep from getting dirt in the pump. And that's going to need cleaned out. I might have to blow it out with a compressor. So anyway, that's what we're doing now. Going to do both of them while we're at it. And that way the water will flow through these and you won't have anything plug up here. And I shouldn't have water because where the water was coming from, it was overflowing on the mechanical filter part and going down in underneath. So I'm going to clean this up and I'll add more to this later. Okay, it's just like I thought. I got this one cleaned out with the magnet. It took a little bit of steel wool to get the magnet completely clean on all surfaces. And then on this end, this is where it moves air. And as you can see, that's dirty in there and it's, and it's restricting air movement. You don't take this out. This is part of the main pump. You don't want to get into that. So I'll just clean this up with a toothbrush or something and wash this out and dry it. It just holds on with three little screws. And then this pump has been serviced and it's ready to go back on. So now I need to do the same with the other one. Okay, it's now cleaned up, and as you can see, we're not restricting air movement through it anymore. Just put that in the sink and washed it. And then, you don't want to get this, this wet, but I went ahead and cleaned that up, and I can put it back together, and now this pump has been completely serviced, and I can get it back on the system, and now I have one more to do. Okay, this is the second pump, and basically all you do is you have six screws around here. Keep track of what's what. These are longer. You can change the direction of this. You can have these point any direction you need them to point, which is nice. You take all those screws off and pull that out and then you get that magnet I showed you. And then on this side there's three little screws and you just slide this off. So I'm going to clean this one up and then we'll add more to this. Okay, I got the magnet out. This one's bad. I mean, look at the gunk on that thing. And they move because this magnet spins inside of that magnet because they're opposite and that's how it spins. And so I went ahead and popped this out so I can clean this out. It does take steel wool to get it off. Same way with this, but it's, it's a real fine steel wool. I don't want to scratch up those magnets. So anyway, I'm going to clean all these back up and put these together and then I'll clean the other end, but this is going to take a little time. I have the magnet cleaned up and as you can see, it looks a lot better than it was. It was really, really caked up and that's what makes them not run very well. Um, I did pop this off, clean this out in here. Be really careful. Um, if you do one of these pumps, that little red piece can come out and it about went down the drain of the sink. And then this here is your actually outside magnet. And then this is your inside magnet and they're running opposite and that's what makes it spin. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get this thing put back together. Since this is a watertight seal, when you put these screws in here, just get them threaded and get them started. And then always do opposites. Just take this one down until it just barely starts to snug and then do this one and then go over and do this one, and then do this one, and do that. That way you're going even all the way around and you're not crimping one side too much so it can leak. And then once you get them snug, then you can go around and you can go all the way around and snug them up. And don't over tighten them, just get them nice and snug. Okay, the reason this was leaking, and I'll explain this to you, I have dual wet dry filters coming out of this. They come out of the, the trapezoid in the tank and then split and go two different directions. They drop into this part here which is where this goes with a piece of floss in it. That's your mechanical filtration and it, it's full now because I shut the system down that normally runs about down to here. This is your wet dry and this is the dry portion. This is the wet portion and then it goes out of there into protein skimmer and I have two of them. They're hooked in tandem and the reason I have two is because I live in the middle of nowhere. If a pump goes out or something goes bad I can't just go buy one. So I could shut one side down and I can run this tank on one system. So that's why I did that. So anyway, that's why that was leaking. And what I did, these holes were somewhat plugged, so I cleaned them. But then I also drilled them out to the next size bigger. Because there shouldn't be water setting in this one. It should be all the way through this one. The water level should be down here. But there was water in this portion here. And it was actually overflowing over the top and seeping down and getting underneath. And it came out on my floor a little bit. So 
we have a mess in here now. I'm going to go ahead and uh, try to get these pieces put back in. And I sent my son down to the hardware store to buy some hose clamps and replace some of them that are a little rusty. I'm not real fond of the plastic ones, but I'm not going to mess with the ones I already have. Um, some of these are those plastic clamps, and they work fine, but over time they get brittle. And the metal ones work fine, but over time they get rusty. So it's a trade-off. So they're going to bring me those. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get this put back in. And this goes in into here, and then there is a gasket and then that goes on top and then this piece goes underneath like this and you screw it together and that's what holds that in there so i'm going to keep adding to this okay i did get everything put back together and it's no longer leaking this is studnik aquatics thanks for watching